Welcome to Electro Online. Now we're going to embark on some more challenging examples of taking derivatives. And you might wonder if we're ever going to see something like this in a normal calculation. And the answer may be no, probably not. But it does help you understand how the, the technique works for things that are a little bit more complicated like that. So let's go ahead and do that. So here we have y equals the sine of something, some argument right there which is the tangent of 2x. So if we're going to find the derivative, y prime, which is the same as dy dx, we take the derivative of the sine, which is equal to the cosine. And so that would be the cosine of the same argument times the tangent of 2x. But now we have to take the derivative of the argument. So that's times the d dx of the tangent of 2x. And so that becomes the following. So this becomes the cosine of the tangent of 2x. And I'll go ahead and put that in brackets like that, times the derivative of this. Now the derivative of the tangent is the cosecant squared. And so that would be times the cosecant squared of 2x. But now we have to take the derivative of that argument because it's not just an x, it's a 2x. So now we write, write times the d dx of 2x. And of course the d dx of 2x is equal to 2, which then comes in the front. So this becomes 2 times, because 2 is the derivative with respect to x of 2x, times the, um, well, it doesn't matter which order we write it in, so we can write it as a cosine of the tangent of 2x times the uh, oh yes 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 that's 2x I need to look a little bit more careful 2x times the cosecant oh let's see here that's uh, yeah the cosecant square of 2x like this and this then becomes a derivative of that original problem. Now notice, it seems simple, sine of the tangent of 2x, but we need to make sure that we go to this systematic step. So again, the derivative will be, the derivative of sine is the cosine of the same argument, times the derivative of the argument, which is the tangent of 2x. The derivative of the tangent of a function is going to be the cosecant square of that same function, but then we have to take the derivative of the 2x as well. And that is how it's done.